Hi and welcome back. So uh, in the past before created the rough shape of the helmet. Now I told uh, also in the part before that uh, I will do some fixing of the geometry here and other stuff. Tune this a bit. And as a first step, I will jump here back to this, and I will a bit remodel this one. So first of all, I will delete this uh, what I don't need or want to change. Hold X to see true. And let's go left view, Z to zoom, and now drag this edge back here. Now I want that this one will end right here, not there as it was before. Now making this, uh, I also will immediately assign the position of that. So this one here. <coughs> and this one somewhere here. This one should be fine, by the way. Uh, okay, back to the left view. Uh, we can do the same here because this one is more or less fine. So I will just drag it away and weld it here. So the the position of this one should be more or less fine. Of course, we can adjust it a bit more. And yeah, okay. <coughs> and now uh, I will delete this extra edge which I did here before by connecting this because I really don't need it. So just backspace to delete all the edges now to vertex mode and select all words and again backspace. Okay, now select this one here, move it a bit down somewhere here. Now touch it weld this one. Select this word. Back view. The view is pretty aligned so uh, not much to do. But uh, what we can do is move all of these by selecting single one down somewhere here. But uh, of course we have to adjust also the position in this view. So far like this. Anyway, I will uh, reposition this one a bit more right after this. <coughs> so I if we have this one, we can move it a bit more. Uh, okay, we can go to the back view and just make sure that we make everything perfect. Also move this a bit. We will do it a bit more. So we'll right now just reassign the rest. So uh, here I'll drag this up, touch weld, weld them together. In the back view, I will again look. If it's in the right position. It's not. Can move a bit these ones. So just tuning. Now so this big guy and again word touch weld here. Uh, this one here will move like this. Now let's go to the back view, reassign left view and the last one. So like this. I deleted again something I created extra, I know, but anyway, <coughs> it wasn't necessary there, so why to keep it? Now, uh, if you look on the shape, oh, we can cap this one more time. By the way, this uh, can be a, don't have to be a circle, exactly circle, anyway, we'll do this with a cylinder, so just. Uh, in case you want to remodel that. Uh, we can actually move also this one I think. Uh, just to make the polyflow a bit uh, nicer here. Now if we go here you can see that 
this line is not absolutely fitting inside the rest. So this will be our call. Uh, we will uh, assign a really a bit reassign the polyflow of this. So by moving just to the left, I will try to uh, move this a bit up and so fit a bit more to the overall shape of the model. Now this should be good. <coughs> so we can see that now it's a bit better and it should be also better looking uh, at the render or by just applying the triple smooth on that. Now to this, uh, these things here. This should be the edge. Now the edge shouldn't be or shouldn't go much high, but I think uh, it should be round. This shouldn't be flat. So I guess this should be fine. <coughs> More or less. But we can also keep the distance everywhere the same. So something like this. Now a bit more tuning. Yeah, it's a bit rounder there. Also, this part in the bottom is a bit better. That's good, that's good. Okay, uh, anyway, <coughs> we have enough time to do a bit more. Of course. Uh, <coughs> okay, if we have this, uh, we can now check a bit these gaps here between the shapes. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is more or less the same. We'll just hit this, uh, like we like we have here up, which is f which is good. Uh, these bandings will disappear a bit later, but this here should be a bit more closer to our shape. So, <coughs> what we will do, we will a bit drag these words and make there more or less the same gap <coughs> like we have uh, here between the mount or here. Uh, the gap can be of course a bit smaller. You can go the thickness of a line or higher. Anyway we will do some adjustments also later. Of course if we move in one direction should always check the other direction but we wasn't moving any uh, any much so it should be fine now this uh, I will edit uh, very soon now we can do something similar also here We'll just check both of them and move them a bit closer. Oh, this is probably too much. Like that. Go to perspective to look. Now, between the mounts, probably a bit more. Now, here we can do it a bit more. We can actually hide this behind the shape. Let's go 
create something like that. <coughs> okay, that's fine, that's fine. Tuning is funny. Now let's go, let's turn this off and let's go to edge mode. Top view. Now, oops, hold on shift. This should go somewhere here. Perspective. Probably it will be probably better, better and better in perspective to edit. I will move this to this line and from the left view also move it in this direction now it should be behind that so there will be something to I don't know if it's too much, probably yes, so uh, let's go back edge go by the vertex and again from the left view but uh now we'll turn this off uh on. should go a bit deeper hmm. perspective okay the same should be from this and anyway um, after some modeling we will change a lot of stuff so don't be afraid about this because really this is um, just to have it let's go just to the left view <coughs> and to fill the space which is there empty Okay, now you have this, uh, which is fine. It's caused by the triple smooth and the geometry, which we did. It also cap this a bit more, but there is no reason so far. But we will see how it will be looking a bit later. I just need the starting point right now for that and. This will be enough, I think. Actually, when I'm looking a bit more on that, I think uh, I don't need this one here. And just these two should be enough. But we'll see. Anyway, again, this we will cover a bit later. So, uh, a bit more by here, like uh, this should be banded, this is more or less fine, maybe a bit less banded and so, this we will manage or add it uh, in a moment or in the next part, in this part I will not do that, and like that we will also probably uh, change some details also. Now let's go to all X and hit the inset tool. We'll make two insets, one small, one bit bigger. Now the insets will be started by extruding the shape. You will not see anything right now there. 
maybe just the shape, nothing more. But later with the extrude, uh, there will be something. But anyway, back to our shape. Uh, we need to find right now the points, the weak points of the shape, and change them if we are in symmetry mode. Because later I will transform that to regular mode, so I will apply the symmetry to the model. So if you can, so if we can right now, let's try to <coughs> find every single error we have here and just change that. Can do this a bit bigger. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Did the inserts? We moved a few things. Did this one here. We actually just fill it there. Actually, I'm losing the idea what to do there. Okay, let's look around. Let's look also here. Now here the polyflow looks fine everywhere. Okay, this one don't keep attention to that. Ah, this is fine here. It is a bit inside, but already just a small bit. Okay. Ah, left view, so it's this one. Now let's see from back view. <laughs> Back view one more time. So I'm slight, slightly moving this to the right. Uh, it's really just a small bit. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's a bit hard. So let's look. Okay, let's move this a bit. And on the other hand, this bit here. Okay. <coughs> yeah, so for this. Hmm. What else to do there? It's hard to find anything. Of course, there uh, should be a lot of things what to do. Okay, so because I, I don't know what to do, I will show you what will be the next step.
I will not do that. What we will do, we'll select. We'll select the bodies uh, like this. And of course, from the other side. Oops. And like this, we'll make the extrusion. Uh, the extrusions will allow us to make the steps which are on the helmet. Also, here we will have a new detail. Quite nice. So, I think actually that I will do it like this. Or like this? No, maybe like that. Then deselect and so two extrudes which will give us something. And after we will start the uh, edge tightening and any other stuff. Now this extrusion we will also apply to this stuff here. Now it's because uh, this geometry will arise like everywhere here two times just not here and around the circle so this one should rise too now why I will apply the symmetry before it's because uh, if we extrude it like that uh, the edges here will be a bit different hard to explain we'll have less chance to finish that without We'll have to join a few things manually and stuff like that. So in the next part, I uh, will start ad uh, adding the details <coughs> because right now in this part, I really don't see anything or anything else which uh, I could or we could change because a lot of stuff was changing uh, using the Trubus Moton. So. It's very hard to find anything. As you can see from the front view, we are a bit off the shape. Should be higher, but it's fine. Yeah, it's for sure fine. Okay, so I will see you in the next part. If you will find any mistake, uh, try to repair it. If you will have no chance to repair it, just wait until I find that. If I will not find that, uh, try it yourself. So again, thanks for watching and bye bye.